Hello, my super kids. Welcome to today's quantitative reasoning class. In this class, we are going to be looking at exercise 16. Exercise 16. So I want you to get your quantitative reasoning book now and your pen and let's do something. In this quantitative class, we are going to be making use of squares and square roots. Alright? So, we need to remember or recall our squares and square root tables. This page is a summary of the squares and square root of 1 to 10. Alright? Now, we are going to begin by looking at lesson number 1. The shape we have in lesson number one is a, is a T that is lying down horizontally. The T side has the top side has a four, the bottom has a three and a thirty-two. So we are going to try to find the thirty-two first using the number four and the number three. Alright? So let's go to the board now. Now to find 32, well, we need to square 4 and also square 3. Then we also add 4 and 3 to the result. Alright? Square 4, square 3, add 4 and add 3 to the result. So when we add the 3 square to the 4 square, first the 4 square will give us 16, 3 square will give us a 9, plus 7 from adding 4 to 3. The result is 32. So it's not difficult at all. So this is how we get 32. Alright, now let's look at another number. This time around, we are going to be making use of the 32 and the 4, alright, to get the 3. So the next number we are going to try to find is the number at the position of 3 using the 4 and um, the 32. So when using 4 and 32 to get the number at the position of 3, what do we do? We are going to go back to the board again and we will see how we can do some kinds of subtraction, squaring and subtracting, alright? Now look at the board. We have a Y, a letter representing the number we are looking for and what would that give us? First, we are going to square the 4 and try to subtract it from 32. So 4 square is removed from 32 and also the number 4. So when trying to get the number at the other position, we try to use the square of 4 and 4, subtract the result from our 32. Well, that is going to give us a 20. So when we subtract 20 from 32, we're going to get 12. Alright? So the closest square or perfect square from the bottom to 12 is 9 all right so because after 9 you are going to get a 16 so easy is 9 that is the closest so you now try to find the square root of 9 how do you do that you try to change it to 3 square and so it is obvious that 3 is the number we are looking for so we are also going to try to find the other number which is the 4. This time around, you'll be given 32 and the 3. So we try to find 4. So again, we try to allow y represent the unknown number. The same method we use to get the 3 is what we are going to use to get the 4. Square the 3 and subtract both 3 and 3 squared from 32. So that's going to be 32 minus 12. Alright? That is simply 20. 
So what is the closest square or perfect square to 20? From the bottom is 16, all right? 16. So what is the square root of 16? Again, we are going to use square. And so four square is 16. So the number is four, all right? The number is four. Now, this is how we get the three numbers. Let's look at the next one in lesson two. It's like a diamond shape, or you can also call it a kite. We have a four and eight. We have another four and another four. But these two four, they are always going to be the same. So any number you have at one of these positions is also going to be the number you have in the other position. It means if I have a 5, then I will also have a 5 at the other position. So now, if I am asked to find the number 8, I need to add 4 to 4 to get 8. Alright? So 4 plus 4, 8. The top side too, 4 plus 4, we also give you the same 8. Alright? So, you can add vertically to get the 8 or add horizontally on the top to get the 8. So, whatever we have at the top, when added, gives you the 8. Alright, let's see what you have on the board here. Now, just like I explained earlier, 4 plus 4 gives you the 8 vertically. So, when you add the 4 to the 4, you get your 8 whether at the bottom or the top all right so sometimes it is also important to know that the four across that is on the top yes this four now when you try to get it you will need to do a subtraction all right you have to subtract because when you add the 4 vertically, it gives you 8. You add the other 4, it gives you an 8. So that means to get the other 4 at the right hand top or the top right side, you have to subtract the one of the 4 from 8. Alright, and that gives you a 4 also. So to get the number at that position is to subtract 4 from 8. Now let's look at lesson number 3. This is going to be the last lesson on this video. We are going to try to find 27. All right. This round shape contains four numbers. We we'll try to find the 27 first, making use of two of the numbers. You can see a 3, you can see a 9. So, what do you think you can do with 3 and 9 to get 27? Well, if you think, you know you have to multiply 9 by 3 to get 27, alright? So, this is how you get 27. Multiply 9 by 3 to get 27, alright? To get 6, we subtract 3 from 9. You get 6, alright? 3 from 9 is 6, so that's how to get the 6. And 9 minus 6 Alright, 9 minus 6 gives you 3. So to get the 3 different numbers, it is very easy. Alright. Okay. Now we are going back to the next lesson, which is lesson number 4. Now the lesson number 4 has a triangle. A triangle has uh, four numbers one at the middle which is 16 2 4 and 14 at the other end now we are going to try to get the 16 as usual we allow y to be the unknown number you discover when you add 4 to 14 you get 18 all right so to get the 16 is very easy add 4 to 14 that's 18 then you subtract the 2 all right to get the 
Now let's get 14. To get 14 or the position of 14, we allow the unknown number to be y. 16 plus 2 is 18. Again, 18 minus 4 gives us 14. See? Alright, so how do we get the 4? If we are to get the 4, what should we do? Now again, let's go to the board. We allow the unknown number to be y. Then we try to add the 2 at the top to 16, which is at the middle of the triangle, to get 18. Then when you subtract 14 from that 18, you get 4. So that means the number is 4. So the last one we are going to look at is the 2 at the top. So we are going to try to get the 2 at the top. Now, so how do, what do we do with the other three numbers to get the 2 or the number in that position of 2? Let that unknown number be y. So the first thing you do, you add the, uh, the two numbers at the base of the triangle, alright? 4 and 14, you get 18. So when you are done getting 18, you subtract 16 from it and you get a 2. So 18 minus 16 is 2. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next class. Bye bye.